Hey what's up you guys, it's Spartan, and today we're going to be doing a Let's Play on the Game of Thrones mod known as Trials of the Seven Kingdoms. So after doing the Let's Play on the Life of the Spartan, I asked you guys what you guys would like to see next. And after doing a poll, you guys decided that you wanted to see a Life of a Stark Let's Play campaign. Alright, so one of the nice bonuses of uh, picking the north is actually you get a recruiting and upgrading infantry troops bonus. So it's 25% cheaper to recruit my northern infantry and to train them up, which is going to save us thousands and thousands of dollars over time since we're going to be losing a lot of infantry at the very beginning. You know what? I kind of want to go for a Ramsey look. Alright, here we go, boys. This is Ramsey Bolton himself. So I think he looks pretty good. He looks pretty close to how he would look. All right, so let's go for his traits. So for Ramsey Bolton, I don't want to do his like background or whatever because I actually want his traits. So I'm going to go ahead and go for all probably cunning, right? Like tactics and leadership maybe. But no, yeah, we're going to go for trade and tactics. So everything to do with tactics and uh, leadership he's going to use because he's a very devious man. Okay, it's perfect. Ramsey, mom, and then Bolton. So, my goal will be to execute every single lord in this map as Ramsay Bolton. Alright, so our family name. So, our family name is going to be Winter is... Winter is Coming. That's a perfect family name. So, everyone in my family is going to be known as Winter is Coming. Alright, so for our banner, we're going to do a, a giant P, of course, for Ramsay Bolton. It looks beautiful. So, let's uh, go ahead and check out this map real quick for you guys. So this is the Game of Thrones mods map, which is just insane looking too. And we got Dorne over here in the south. And then we have, let's see, we have the Tyrells and Old Town down here. And the Arbor too. And then we got the Lannisters up here, Castlery Rock and Lannisport. And then King's Landing is currently owned by the Stormlands. And we got like, I think Storm's End right down here. And honestly, in my opinion, the Stormlands and like the Baratheons are the best units in this game, especially like their stag units. So we definitely have to be cautious of them early game. And then we got the Northern faction. So these are our boys. This is the only area we're allowed to recruit from until we capture more castles and cities uh, farther south. And honestly, I think the first person I want to go to war with is going to be the Wildlings because they're the easiest to fight or the Night's Watch, honestly. I know we're supposed to be on the side of the Night's Watch, but they kind of suck. So <laughs> we might end up just executing all their lords real quick. Okay, so we're going to need to get to the north as soon as possible and just basically run all the way up there. <laughs> oh my god, my guy is so sad. He's got such a long run ahead of him, man. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can help do Darwa Frey. So we're helping the Freys here fight the Western Marauders. I'm just going to have to charge as fast as possible. Look how ugly these guys are. Oh my god. The Frey House Guard is so ugly. Do you imagine having an army of Freys? They're basically wearing, uh, like, bags on their head. Their armor is just tons of bags. I bet they're going to die here, too. They're going to lose so many soldiers. Oh, they just one-shot them. Oh my god, they one-shot people. I guess their swords are good. Aw, oh man. I was hoping to get a kill. Hey, let me get this kill. There we go, I got one kill. Leveled up a little bit. <laughs> man, I didn't think these guys would do good. Their swords must do a crap ton of damage or something, man. Uh, two gold. Two gold from that fight. Alrighty. Let's keep moving. Finally got to the north, though, which is nice. And I'm just going to go to the closest uh, northern uh, village I can. Let's see, what do we got? Northern Half-Bloods here. Let's check out this faction. Oh, actually, these are the heroes. That's the heroes of the faction. That's actually really good to see. So I'm going to go ahead and recruit all the royal troops, the noble troops, and then let's check out this faction tree. And, I mean, these guys are powerful, too. Their stark swords do 104 damage. So they almost one-shot anything in this game. But, yeah, let's build up an army real quick and then try to fight some looter factions, maybe some wildlings or something, and level our guys up just a tad bit. And then we're going to uh, wage war against the wildlings. Okay, so let's check out this quest right here. Oh, there we go. So we got a rival gang moving in at Castle Black. So let's see what this is about. <laughs> Look at this one. Yes, you need something from me. Who are you? I am Ramsay Mom, then Bolton. And who are you? All right, so let's see what our quest is. So I heard you, have, you need some help. I've got a problem, 
and his name is Sinor the Finger. <laughs> Sinor the Finger? His people have been coming around outside the walls, robbing the dice players and the drinkers, enjoying themselves under our protection. Me and my boys are eager to teach him a lesson, but I figure some extra muscle wouldn't hurt. What exactly do you want me to do? We are preparing for a fight, for an attack, but we need some time to gather our men. Meet me in here in Castle Black after three days, and we'll strike them together. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and fight these, uh, this rival gang in here. It's kind of cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and wait a little bit. We'll wait three days, and then we'll fight this gang-on-gang -gang violence right here. in <laughs> Warfare in Castle Black. It's awesome. I didn't even know that was a... I didn't even know that was a quest. Ramsay Bolton! Oh, it's Ramsay Bolton. There he is. There's my long-lost uh, duplicate twin. That looks just like me. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to this gang fight right now. Get some experience. Here, let's get cinematics on this. Look at this. <laughs> gang, gang. Representing Night's Watch. Signer the Finger. Coming to fight me, eh? Did Poxy Meister... I, I can't say her name. Did Poxy put you up to this? Look, there's no need for bloodshed. This town is big enough for all of us. But if bloodshed is what you want, I will be happy to provide... Look at all these guys. These guys don't even have the eyebrows behind them, man. What the hell? Oh my god. They're so ugly looking. <laughs> He's got an army of like... Oh, I don't know. I don't even know what to describe these guys as. They definitely don't look okay. Alright. What I want to say is you don't need to put be a part of this. I'll double whatever she's paying you if you join us. Ooh. You're gonna give me $1,500? Let's see. Would Ramsey Bolton betray his own team in order to get twice as much gold? Sure. <laughs> Welcome to our ranks of uh, no eyebrow men. Let us kill these bastards. Ah! I'm sorry. All right, now we can fight. Oh, I can't tell who's who. Wait a second. Wait a second. I can't tell who's who. You guys all look the same. All right, there we go. Let's kill some of these guys. There we go, boys. We're, we're definitely not a trader. We're just an entrepreneur. I swear. There we go. Easy. Easy money, boys. We definitely didn't betray our own kind. All right, there we go. Where's my money, boy? $1,500. I'm sorry, Poxy. But, hey, look at this. Now we have one more person to recruit soldiers from, though. So we can get tons of Night's Watch if we need them. And I'm going to go to the north and see what's up um, above the wall. I'm just curious. Oh, we got some traveling outlaws, though. This would be a good fight. All right, so these guys are looking pretty nice right now. Night's Watch footman right here. There we go. Let's take control of some of these guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. I have a mod that lets me take control of whoever I want. Which is a really nice way of leveling up people faster. But I'm going to stick with Ramsey Bolton for now. Oh, look at that. The wall of big peas. We shall dominate them, boys. Hold fast, man. Hold fast. Man, it's so beautiful. Okay, he, he looks really ugly, but it's a, it's a beautiful fight right here <laughs> beautiful wall of peasants here i'll protect the flanks as they're distracted oh i gotta try to hit their heads honestly because they're unarmored oh charge boys charge out of shield wall catch up to them i'm too slow ah oh, no we're too slow that's okay did have two people die which is kind of surprising my northern warrior died she should have been a little better got a couple level ups though party upgrades to northern bastard and a night's watch scout so this guy's gonna be extremely useful so we got our first archer from the northern faction all right so traveling around in north of the wall is probably not a good idea but i just want to see what's out here and i want to go to the wildling area i might even try to raid it and then run away it might be a really bad idea but i know they don't have cav so they might be a little slower than me but i don't know Oh my god, Torment Giants Pain has 114 of them. Oh gosh. Alright, they do have a tournament going on here, which is kind of cool to see. But let's check out the Wildlings. So yeah, it looks like the Wildlings only have bowmen and infantry. So they don't have any cav, but we also don't have any cav. This guy's only 539 gold. 
Joffrey the Prince? You're telling me I can buy a prince for 500 gold to my party? Of course, man. Welcome. Welcome to what's certainly going to be your death. Off your horse, I'll give you Stark Helmet right there. There you go, now you're Stark. Sword's pretty crappy and he has no armor. This dude, ha this dude wanted to join an army with one armor total. Dude, that's why he was so cheap. Yeah, he, he basically only cost $200 outside of his armor. That's really sad. Oh my god, Mance Raider has 300 And Yogurt over here has 100 Oh man, this is not winnable yet. Not at all winnable. So we're going to go ahead and run away from this area. I wonder if creating a kingdom does any anything. Probably doesn't. So yeah, let's go ahead and create a kingdom. Northman and kingdom name. Um, Winter... Yeah, winter has <laughs> winter has gone. <laughs> winter has come. <laughs> yep, kingdom name is going to be winter has come. <laughs> winter is coming and winter has come. <laughs> don't don't demonetize me, YouTube. Oh my God! Wait, we can have two hundred and eighty soldiers now. What happened? I didn't even do anything. How can I have two hundred and eighty soldiers now? Faction leader. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, since I did the Royal Guard, I got plus 60. And since I'm a faction leader, since I just randomly started my kingdom out of nowhere, I get 200 more soldiers. Oh my god, I'm going to spam peasants. I'm going to have so many peasants. I'm going to I'm gonna get 300 peasants, and I'm going to attack the wildlings and execute every single one of them, man. That is so overpowered. I didn't know you could just declare your king, like ruler of a kingdom and immediately get all those uh, soldiers. That's insane. That's broken, man. Yeah, let's get some Bolton uh, troops, too, since that's our home city. Home area. Oh, my God. We're going to execute so many people now. Now, I just need to do, like, a compilation of me recruiting tons of soldiers because it's going to take forever. We're definitely... We're in, we need at least... We're going to need at least 100 soldiers, I think. I'm going to travel around and get as many soldiers as possible before invading the Wildling faction and trying to execute some of their lords. Because I imagine they're going to have an army of 200 wildlings at max with their best soldiers. So I got to definitely be prepared for that. 